Hello, this is Andy Demi bringing you today's IC Markets commentary. So today I'm going to start us off with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has recently had a very, very strong rally off the back of that announcement from BlackRock that they'll be applying for a new ETF. And you can see that the market has taken out these previous highs, breaking this down consolidation that we had here. You can see in the past we've taken out highs before but the market never really materialized and then the market ended up coming back. So I've also marked this area here, which was past resistance and this was past resistance over here where the market could do something similar and again, you know, trap a few people and go lower. Of course, it could go higher. So what are we looking for as confirmation? Well, for a market to be going higher, we're looking for higher highs and higher lows. And so therefore, I'm going to be looking for that confirmation. I want to see a higher low point than this one. And then for the market to really take off before I start to get a little bit more bullish on Bitcoin. So it's a kind of waiting game for me on that one. Now, Euro dollar. Let's have a little look at Euro dollar. Well, you can see if we bring it. In fact, let's start with the monthly chart that this market overall has been making lower lows and low highs. However, we have had a nice strong rally since going below parity um, over here. The market has rallied nicely back into this 50 monthly moving average. Now, you can see we also had an RSI oversold over here, which has helped with this rally and like it did over here. But what do we do now? Where are we going next? Well, if you look at the pullback from high to low, you can see we're roughly around that 50% mark. And then we have these kind of higher potential points around the 618 and 786. But if you go to the daily chart right now, there is some signs of weakness. You can see that this market is making higher highs, but the indicators are making lower highs. It's essentially telling us that this market may be due a correction. If we do have a, a little bit more in this, we could push up towards this 618. The divergence could continue and the market could go the other way. And you can kind of see on the lower time frames, um, this will be easier to see. We've had a nice strong push. For me, to really see a confirmation of a move lower, I think we need to take out these lows over here, which really were you know, very, very strong. At the moment, there's a flag formation there, which is bullish. So until proven otherwise, we could be looking for a push higher. So look out for a break of this flag on Euro dollar. And cable, you can see cable again, very similar. Everything is going up against the dollar. If we look at the higher time frames, you can see that this one has moved up towards the 618. It's had a very, very strong weekly close over here. So right now, you know, there's no real signs that this is going to change. Just bear in mind, though, we are at a resistance point. We are at the 618, which is a very important resistance point. And we also have this 50 monthly moving average, which has acted as good resistance in the past. So just be wary that the, net, the rally could be short lived and we might get a correction. But at the moment, there's no signs of that. So until we see some signs and ideally in my opinion i'd like to see this area taken out so if we can see a break of these lows which coincided with a really strong move that's when i'd start to look for potential rallies to sell but until then we want to be going with the trend and next we've got crude so crude oil i actually drew some really nice channel lines here so you can see them like that acting as support acting as resistance and you can see right now that this is at this channel line so we could be getting ready for a push higher in crude so keep an eye on that one and let's also quickly have a look at the s p 500 so the s p 500 is acting very strong ma's moving averages are all pointing up all aligned 
and I think for me the next target on this one will be somewhere around here we've got a little bit of room still around that 4535 which is the 786 Fibonacci and it's also a recent resistance and support area so that's a nice area to look for on there and finally the dollar yen so you can see right now the dollar yen is pushing up strongly but I do caution you you know if we look at the overall picture you know we have been making high highs and high lows however we did take out this low with this strong fall this is a new high is this going to be a lower high potentially or are we going to continue this strong trend if we draw the Fibonacci we are also at that 618 so you can use the lower time frames as confirmations if you want to trade it you know you can use simple things like um, counter trend lines to get that confirmation so as you go above these kind of lines that could signal you know potential short-term ideas but in terms of the long term I would just be a little bit more cautious on this one until we see some more um, confirmation that is all for today hope you enjoyed that hope you got some value and I'll catch you again soon take care Thank you.